back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a calculator to solve for the third degree polynomial, polynomial equation. Okay, so let's look at this example. You have 24x cubed minus 26x squared plus 9x minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so how to solve this using the calculator. I will show you how to do it uh, manually, but in this case, I just show you how to use a calculator very quick and accurate way. Alright, hit setup alpha a 2 and then it says polynomial degree so select 2 3 4 2 is secondary 3 is third and 4 is 4 3 polynomial okay hit 3 all right this so in order to get the solution you have to get the equation in this form ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equal to 0 has to be equal to 0 okay so if you have a uh, if you have it like uh, x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 3 equals 0 or equals a number you have to distribute this out and then convert everything back into this form something times x cubed plus something times x squared plus something times x plus a constant equals 0 on the right side has to be 0 okay no matter what it cannot be a number different from 0 otherwise this method won't work all right now let's type in the coefficient so x cubed I have 24 then minus 26 9 negative 1 okay and then hit the equal sign all right so you have x1 equals 1 half hit the equal sign again x2 equals 1 third hit the equal sign again x3 equals 1 fourth all right so here's your answers so if you get stuck in during your uh, perform calculation you can use this uh, method to check your answer or get the answer right away and hopefully the, your teacher or professor will give you some partial credit all right now let's go over another example okay so let me exit out and go back so you yeah, here's my second example set up alpha a two three right now my xq coefficient is one five Okay, okay, keep in mind that you have to insert the correct coefficient which responding to the degree, okay, the variable. So we have x cubed, x squared, x. So x cubed, I have 1, x squared, I have 5, x, I have negative 14. And then what about the constant? I have no constant, that means 0, okay, so that's why I leave it 0 here. Hit the equal sign, gives me x1 equal 2, hit it again x2 equals negative 7 hit it again x3 equals 0 okay so here's all three distinct roots of that equation okay let's go over another example all right so look at this example uh, hit AC to clear all the variables or all the constants then I have x cubed x squared x x to 0 which is 1 all right just type in the coefficient 1 negative 1 9 negative 9 hit the equal sign okay got x1 equals 1 x2 equals 3i then I expect to get x3 equals negative 3i because they are conjugate uh, roots okay let's see x3 equals negative 3i okay like exactly like I expected All right so that's it if you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.